Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. It is Saturday. It is Sunday morning. This cold is like thrown off my sense of days. It is about 10 till 8. Steven and the dogs are still asleep upstairs and I'm just getting moving. I'm gonna go grab some coffee and then as you can see there is a little bit of difference with my hair but now I'm less scared so I'm going to go grab another box of the hair dye and actually leave it in a little bit longer because my natural color is still going to come through, but I think I could probably get a little bit more of the silvery gray that I'm going for. Um, so I'm less scared now to use it. So going to do that today. We're going to start some 2024 planner set up. Yeah. Oh, I'm wearing my too cool shirt today. Everything is linked below and yeah, check them out. They're really good this year. I got like a couple compliments on the Elf Care one uh, yesterday. I also mentioned I was hard, having a hard time getting into a book. So last night I ended up running to Target and picking this up. It's like a kid's novel, young adult novel. It's called Juniper's Christmas. And I started reading it and I'm really enjoying it. It's like very magical. Um... Yeah, I just am really liking it. I've had a hard time since the Barbara Streisand book after a thousand pages getting into a book. So I kind of need like a mindless fun read. Um, so I figured after I finish this, I can give it to like one of our neighbor kids to read, but I'm loving it. This dude over here, I'll turn the light on. He's feeling a little bit better today, aren't you? Oh, 17 year old man. Was a 17 year old man. What do you expect? But just really prefers to just kind of be left alone and do his thing. All right, let's go get coffee and some hair dye. So I just grabbed my coffee. My go to coffee lately has just been a oat milk latte. It is like the right amount of creaminess as well as like just a hint of sweetness from the oat milk, it's perfect. I, no syrups, nothing else, just an oat milk latte. And then I can't stop listening to Beautiful Ghosts by Taylor Swift for Cats. I know this movie wasn't a hit, but I love this song and I just keep listening to it on loop. All right, let's go grab the hair dye. So I just got home and everyone is still asleep. It is 8.30, so I've been gone for like a half an hour, but I had some coffee and I'll show you the hair dye I picked up. I am going with a different brand. Um, this one is a metallic silver and it's slightly lighter. But like once again, I'm feeling pretty good about the silver. It's not like making that big of a difference in my hair. So we are going to do this this morning. And I also have to take off my ring. I recently, well recently as in yesterday, have been seeing everyone talk about their aura rings and I got out of the habit of wearing mine. So I decided to charge it back up, update it, and I have it on. So I don't know why I stopped wearing it, but this stack is inspired by Christina Brawley. So this ring below is the Cartier Trio ring. So it's rose gold, silver, and gold. I love it because I love mixing metals and then the aura ring stacked on top. Super comfortable. Also, I bought my trio ring too big, so this aura ring helps it stay in the place. All right, we are going to do this first thing this morning. All right, I am just making some eggs. Steven is awake. He has something in the microwave. I don't know what he made, but also going to throw some bread in the toaster. I love this toaster so much, it was one of Oprah's favorite things. It's super speedy. And it's probably the best toaster. There he is, he is alive. Hi. Hello. People think you've disappeared. Come on here. In all his glory. Barely. Him and Bubba's holding the fort down for the old people in the home. Bubba's had a, a very rough night last night, which my, I had a very rough night. 
We had a glorious night. Didn't we? We had the best night. We had the best night. No, she's concerned about Bubbles. She is concerned. Tell them what she does. Well, when he had his episode two nights ago, she put her head on the bed. Because she's so tall, she put her head on the bed and just looked at him. Because we go into the other bedroom, and she goes, and she looks and makes sure that she's... Yeah, I don't think you could appreciate how tall she is. Like, her head is almost to our island, and our island is higher than uh, normal. Like, we have some pretty high counters. But she, she's she's a tall girl. Tall and lanky. Tall, skinny, and gorgeous. Tall, skinny, and gorgeous. If I could turn back town. Somebody said she was like Cher. I know. I haven't listened to the new Cher Christmas album. We have to give it a listen. <laughs> Too early. This bread maker, by far, I'm gonna link it because it'd be such a good Christmas gift. It is phenomenal. And I've had a couple other bread makers that were not as good. And I have now used this one for uh, two, three years. And it nothing beats it. People share all those crazy, like, People share like that you need specific yeast for your bread machine and it has to be the bread machine yeast or you need um, the bread making kits. I'm gonna share my recipe. It is easy peasy. First, I'm gonna get that water hot because you want your water to be about 110 degrees and you want one cup of water. So I'm just going to let that get hot. Um, usually it needs to run a couple seconds and then I just use my like meat thermometer to check the temp. You want it at 110 degrees. As my water gets hot, I'm going to add a package of instant yeast. It's like the fast acting yeast. I'm going to add two tablespoons of sh just white sugar. I don't measure it carefully. I like, they're pretty heaping. About 110 degrees. Okay, I'm at 117 right now. It'll drop pretty quickly. So as soon as I drop to about 111, I will pour it in. but it will start to drop pretty, pretty quickly. Now, I'm just adding that. I'm gonna close it, and I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes and just let that foam up. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. You can all be angry because I just set all of your timers. I also realized I didn't give you a hair update. I'm actually thrilled with the color. It's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> They're headed for a walk. Bubba's is still in no condition for a walk. So he's gonna stay home with me, Mabel and Steven. Oh, be good girl. She's so excited. Alexa, timer off. So after 10 minutes, this, if you can see in there, let's see if we can get in there. It is all foamy and bubbly. It's exactly what you want. And now I'm just going to add three cups of bread flour. To that, we're going to add a quarter cup of oil and then about one teaspoon of salt. Then on this machine, all you do is hit program. I'm doing a one and a half pound loaf. You could choose how light or dark you want the crust. I think the last time it was a little too dark. Um, all right, and then we're gonna hit start. It'll do the needs, the rises, all of the things. I mean, I will not touch this now until it's done. It has seriously been like the dreariest of days. Um, it's only two o'clock in the afternoon. I just wanted you to see how dark it is outside. Like, it is that dreary out. But my bread is done. I did a lighter bake on it this time because I did the darkest setting last time. 
and I really felt that it got a little too dark. While you're baking it, um, you will have a, after like the last rise, oops, but um, how beautiful. But after the last rise, it will beat for you because you have to pull the paddle out. If you don't, you'll, your paddle will be like in there and baked. I mean, you can bake it with the paddle in there, but I don't think it'll, it'll get like a big hole. Last night, Steven and I watched that uh, new Julia Roberts movie on Netflix. It's about the end of the world. It was a really different movie. I liked it. It was just a lot. Steven, um, I was afraid I was going to, I was so nervous I was going to have like dreams about it. But uh, yeah, it was a very interesting, interesting movie. The acting was really good in it. But it was just different. If you're into like a end of the world, like a really feel good family end of the world movie, that might be the one for you. All right, let's go ahead and do some advent calendars. We have to open nine and 10. So nine, uh, it's a Christmas tree in the window. And then 10 is right here. 10 is a fireplace. This isn't that exciting. <laughs> but like Mary Mary, where I usually get the figurine ones, they didn't have a new one this year that I haven't already done. All right, I don't think we opened nine or 10 of this book one. Nine is right here. Are they little cards? Ah, oh, they're little blank cards that you can write with books on them. Those are cute. I will use those as well. And then 10. Ten is a little notebook and it says words matter. I really love the designs. They're definitely giving like rifle paper company vibes. Time for sugar fina and a little deaf leopard. Pour some sugar on me. It's time for our song, hit it. Pour some sugar on me, in the name of love. Day 10. I think these are the raspberries. Yep, these are ra spirited raspberries. Day 10. Now, this calendar is just so stinking good. Day 10 is right here. And we got a rum bar soap, Malin and Goats. I feel like you can see my hair a little bit better here. That second one really worked. I love that it kind of capped. I really like it. I'm really happy with it. All right, I am going to be, I'm making lasagna in a little bit. So I just want to season up my ricotta so it's not plain. <clears throat> Sorry, I feel like I'm losing my voice again a little bit. So bear with me, and I'm just so congested. Someone mentioned that I was like out of breath um, while doing the garland, and I was like, I very much am. I can't breathe. <laughs> so I just have some whole whole milk ricotta that is like being so difficult to open. So I'm just gonna dump this in this bowl, and then I'm just gonna cover it with um some wrap. Let me grab a spoon. Also, I have no idea why I grabbed a fork first, but 
to this, I'm just going to add a little bit of onion powder, a decent amount of garlic powder, some Italian seasonings, and then Stephen and I both really like oregano, so I'm going to add a decent amount of oregano. I'm just gonna mix that together. And now a pinch of salt and a little black pepper. I also started my sauce a little bit ago. So I have two pounds of turkey. I might actually like reserve some of it because I'm not gonna make a huge lasagna. And then just throw it with pasta this week with dinner for something already done. And then for my sauce, this is two of the big cans of San Marzano tomatoes, a little bit of sugar, crushed red pepper, fresh garlic, I did some shallot, salt, pepper, oregano, some Italian seasoning. I very rarely use jar sauce, I just make it myself. It is so much cheaper and easier. And then you know everything that's also in it. It also tastes better. So, this is about done. I'm gonna let it simmer just a little bit longer. Um, one thing about using um, the two cans of Sarmazano, it gets a little bit more watery on top, so now that I've simmered with the lid off, um, with the lid on, I'm gonna leave the lid off and just turn my heat down low and let some of that water that bubbles up to the surface kind of cook off. But, sauce is done. I am going the easy route, and I am using the no boiling oven ready noodles from Trader Joe's. I have never not boiled my lasagna noodles. I've never used the bake ones, but I actually heard these get really good reviews, the Trader Joe's. So we're gonna give them a whirl. I was just, I was scoping out how many I needed. But we're gonna let that bubble a little bit more. Everyone is still asleep upstairs. Look how good that looks. I'm also hooked on the sister wives. I can't get enough of them. I don't even actually know if we can call them sister wives anymore though. They've all split up. They've all left Cody. So, I mean, I guess they're just like acquaintances now. I don't know what you consider them, but I am here for it. I had never really watched the show. And now I've watched like 18 seasons worth and I'm all caught up and I think it's just so dramatic. If you watch The Sister Wives, I would love your opinions down below. It takes a lot for me to get like invested in a TV show um, and this is one that I am fully invested in. And start building up the lasagna. It's now a little after four. And to my ricotta now, I'm just adding an egg. And I'm going to just add some Parmesan cheese to it as well. Just so you know, I always add like a little, I try not to get too much of the meat, but just some of the sauce to put on the bottom, just to help the noodles stay moist on the bottom so they don't dry out. And then you're gonna go noodles, ricotta mixture, meat sauce, mozzarella. And I'm just gonna build it up and then throw it in the oven, covered for 425. I top mine with like fresh mozzarella, torn up, and then we'll pull off the cover and let it brown on top. That's it, easy peasy dinner. I just took the lasagna out of the oven. Look how beautiful it looks. And then we'll eat. Bubba's has been wandering around. Mabel is on the couch. Steven is, what are you doing? He let me know that Taylor Swift is at the Buffalo Bill game. She's totally, Buffalo Bills game. She is dressed total reputations era. I love that album. I cannot wait for her version to come out. I feel like they will be the best vault tracks. But um, yeah, it's just been a lazy day. Baking bread, lasagna, starting to set up my planner. Like just really, it's been rainy and dreary. 
and I'm still getting over something. My cough has been worse today, but I know I'm on the mend. Vlogmas day 10, in the wraps. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.